Iowa State and Texas is the first game that we're going to look at right now. Iowa State, of course, has been awesome straight up and ATS. Texas a little bit less so. The total's hanging a little bit low here. I was wondering if maybe the over might not be worth a play. And as far as the spread is concerned, uh, I don't know. Maybe this is a spot where you take Texas. You know, a small home favorite going up against a team that's been great ATS on the year. Maybe this uh, sets up for a, a down spot, at least ATS-wise, for Iowa State. What do you think, Al McMorty? Well, Peter, you didn't mention the big fact for this game, and that's that David Montgomery is going to have to serve a suspension. Right, you know, right. He got involved in a melee in their last game in the third quarter, so he's going to miss the entire first half of this game. And you know, he's uh, you know the most talented running back, so that's a big loss, I think, for Iowa State in this huge game. Um, that's one reason I really favor Texas in this ballgame. Another is that this is going to be Texas's last home game of the season and home favorites of less than 21 points in conference games. They've got 127 and 79 ATS in their final home game of the season. If it also wasn't their final game of the year and they won on the road the previous week. So it's a nice momentum play for Texas coming home, playing their final home game of the year. And then that's the, you know, the, the, the two main reasons why I like Texas at the short price. Yeah, slight tiny, tiny move as of right now, though, in Iowa State's favor. It opened at three, and there are some two and a halfs available, so we can give you a minus two and a half, minus 115, which is a widely available number. Uh, that's the way I was thinking as well. Ian Cameron, what do you think? It's tough because I like Texas a lot. I usually like backing them as an underdog or a short favorite. And But on the flip side, I love backing Iowa State as an underdog too. I mean, mm -hmm. Matt Campbell and his team have been phenomenal in that role. They are going to miss Montgomery. That's a definite concern here uh, for the Cyclones. Brock Purdy's done a great job at the quarterback spot. And I think this Iowa State defense keeps getting better uh, by the week too. Uh, but it is Texas' last home game, and it's two teams I like. I'll be quite honest. I'd rather bet on these teams than bet against them. So it's a clear pass for me leaving it alone. All right, it's going to be a pass for uh, Ian Cameron. Again, in a game that we asked Al McMorty to cover, he's going to go with Texas minus 2.5, minus 115. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.